Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolve with me, Lathrix, and welcome back to the logging camp. Today, sir and sirettes, like I promised last time, we are going to be trying to tame a Bronto. Now, the thing is, I was a rich. I haven't actually harvested any narco berries yet. I only just got here and saw the Bronto right there. Now, that's pretty much as perfect as I could possibly hope. Now, I, ha I do have some narcotics left, although we do really want the berries more so than the narcotics. This does mean I can knock it out straight away and then harvest the berries afterwards. The one thing I don't really have is actual food for the darn thing, and the thing does want the purple berries like most of the herbivores do. There's only a few which actually prefer others over the purple, and generally they prefer the purple as well. It's just a joint thing, and all that does is it raises the timing efficiency, which is to do with their stats once they're actually timed rather than the speed of timing, which I didn't find out until, honestly, quite late in the game. I, it's one of those things you have to kind of wiki to, to really figure out. Okay, so... Okay, that's enough food. Oh, bugger, really? What do I have stone with me? What, do, what, what, what have I even got the other bow? There we go. So obviously the best way for me to redo this would be to be able to stay somewhat close to them. Close to this lovely creature. Oh, I wouldn't, oh I, didn't, I didn't even deposit the metal. I was so keen to come back, I completely forgot. I can, I, I can put all that with Icarus, so that's fine. Icarus can be holding all that, since she is essentially a living um, storage thing. I don't know why she's bugged out there, but that's fine, as long as she doesn't move anywhere. Uh, where is the stuff, the metals at the top? There we go. And I'm nice and free to move around again. Ah, uh, such a good position for us, but at the same time, not. What I'm going to need to do is lure him, so I'm going to get Icarus to land here. I'm going to take a few shots, um, get him to move here, and then I'll jump onto Icarus and get up there. Sadly, landing on this thing is so difficult still. So, apparently, it takes between 20 and 40 trank arrows to actually take this thing down. So, we're kind of in this for the long haul. This is a level 7 Bronto. So, it's not that low level, it'll be really, really quick, but it's not so high level. Sorry, but it's not so low level as well that the stats will be extremely low. Oh, dear lord, this is a lot faster than I expected it to be. There we are, there's another one. There's Icarus, okay, just need to know where she was. He was, rather. And lash up before we fly off. And Icarus away! Ow. No, no hurting Icarus. And then we land up here. And Icarus won't fight it, thankfully. Hello! Now, he can probably still hit me from there, there's a the thing. But I can move back if needed. That's it, stay there, sweetie. Doesn't matter where the Trank Arrow hits, because we're not after damage, all we're after is the narcotic effect it gives. So far, I haven't missed a shot, so every shot we have shot has been a direct one and has affected the Bronto. Come on, lad. Oh, <laughs> well, that works, I guess. There we are. Almost there. Couple more. So between 20 and 40, we've already shot over 20. So it shouldn't be too long now as this thing falls. I could get um, Igor, my scorpion, to give it a quick sting, because that's a very, very nasty poison, even if it's more long-term than the arrow. The arrow is more of a burst. Now, I am actually... Oh! Oh! Is it... It's falling! It's fell! It has fell! It has fell! The Bronto is knocked out, sir and sirettes. We have a fallen Bronto on our hands. Okay, fantastic. Now, this normally takes six hours to tame, but we do have the setting still rather high when it comes to timing, so let's put all, all the... Medjo berries. Just put every berry, every berry we've got in, just in case. Put the narcos in. Uh, put the narcotics in. That's going down way slower than I expected, honestly. But okay. Are you eating yet? I guess. Oh no, you are. Yep, you are already eating. Fantastic. Have a couple of berries. That. Ooh, your knockout is going down quickly. Well, there we go, sir and threats. We are officially taming a brontosaurus. Oh my lord. So what do I need for them? I, I needed 40 metal, and the rest was just hide and fibre, wasn't it? So we don't actually need that much metal. I think, um, with the metal I've brought over... Oh no, yeah, that's... Oh yes, okay, so, so we're going to have to get the metal from the main base afterwards. Oh my lord, this is going to be the ultimate harvesting animal. Oh, you sweet. I've got, even with the increase in timing speed, this is taking forever. Well then, uh, what do I do? Do I just... Okay, use that. Narcotic, okay. Okay, I'm going to go back to the Stegosaurus and start harvesting some berries then, I guess. Icarus, you did your job ever so well. 
So I could have gone for a lower level. I could have gone for a lower level. That is true. I could have gone for a level one or two. That would t take a lot less time, but the base stats wouldn't be as good. And if we're going to have a Brontosaurus, we may as well have a good Brontosaurus. So I'm going to do, do so. Let's just go um, off camera now and do some mass farming with uh, harvest here. Because, well, we haven't actually harvested for a while. So, oh god, the lag when I destroy all those. Darn it. All the entities that suddenly spawn. My lord, yeah. Okay, the lag's finally gone. So, yeah, I'll do this off camera because that way as well I'll stop the lag a little bit. Hmm, we're not turning for some reason. Yes, we are. My lord, the turning on this thing. Yeah, we'll get plenty of... Look how many um, narc arrows. Do I still a dodo! Oh, there's a dodo on the bushes and I just knocked it out with the tail. Okay, back in a second. Well, I'm currently tangling the Bronto still. Um, after harvesting, I've got over 300 um, of the purple berries at once and almost 100 narco berries. So currently it's nice and knocked out. So I've got a bit of freedom to explore. I'm testing something, Stone Threads. I'm currently holding a dodo. And these are sharks. I want to see if you drop an animal in the water, will the predators nearby actually go for it? Now that one's already being preoccupied, so I'm going to leave that. So we're trying to find a nicer megalodon that's simply relaxing, having a good time, basking in the sun. That's um, lots of lag today. Not sure why the lag is, but yeah. I'll fix that off after this clip zone says I will fix that lag. I'm, I do apologise, not sure what's actually causing it. Perhaps there's something running in the background I'm not aware of, perhaps a scan or something. But regardless, that shouldn't be this bad. Uh, it's, it's, it's at 60 FPS now, but it keeps dropping to 30 and 20, and that really screws up the recording. Oh, there's no predators here we can see. Okay, let's find a normal predator. Let's find a raptor or something. Oh, there's so many Todos around now. Perhaps it's perhaps I'm being punished for trying to be so cruel. Perhaps I am. I kind of want to do some hunting myself, honestly, because 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 I, because I do need some hide, and I do want to level up um, Icarus a little bit. And hunting with a fly is quite fun as well, which is always a nice. Oh, Raptor, hello, which is always a nice touch. Look how far this thing can fly. I mean, this is in full sprint mode as well the entire time, which is fantastic. There you go, there's two Raptors there. They're going to kill that poor little Ophiomia. Oh, hello, Spino. We could uh, hunt the spino. Let's drop this. There we go. Here's, here's, here's Dodo for when you're finished. Oh, there's the poor thing trying to run away. Will it actually work? Because I'm trying to think, can we use them as like distractions? Can we drop them for like, spinos and stuff? Kind of want to kill the raptors, gotta be honest. They're so close together. And we're doing it. Okay. We are running out of stamina, so I may have to land and fight a little bit myself. But, oh, never mind. <laughs> Absolutely obliterated. Yeah, I keep finding the Argentine of this actually isn't too weak when it comes to damage. Just... The Rex had so much health. Okay, so back in a second, I'm going to figure out what's causing the lag and fix it. Okay, the lag has been fixed. <laughs> Hurrah! Well, obviously we're, still, obviously we're still going to get the regular um, arc lag, but no extra lag. So, where is that Spino? I'm thinking about hunting it. We have the rifle. So we're timing the Bronto and having a bit of a nice distraction by doing a bit of hunting. Because honestly, I, I, I've already gathered everything I need for a while, so yeah. Hmm. I wonder what level that thing is. We can assume that hit, however, I don't know if it did or not. I kind of wish it didn't force you to reload, because I would like to stay zoomed after a shot sometimes, just to see if, if it actually hit the mark. The fact that it's coming right for us, I can safely assume that hit the mark. Okay, well, we're going to run back now to the Argent Avis, which is the plan. Okay, take it away, otherwise I'm going to keep reloading, keep jumping, that makes it a little bit faster, and we are on the Argent Avis and off. Poor spinner. Oh, where's it gone? Spinner? I hear I hear you. There you are. Where'd you go? Should you be able to hit me if I stay here? Oh, you can. Wow. Impressive. I will t I, I am going to- I am going to time one of these once I hit level 60. I've got a lot of health, sir. That's it, giant bird of prey, you better run. Oh yeah, Argent Davis killed the um, Spino. Well done, sir, well done. And I think it leveled as well, which is fantastic. And your inventory, you had. I'll take the arrows, I will take the berries, because why the hell not? And I will leave everything else, okay. And I'll harvest you for your meat. Wow, three prime meats, something I want to try and get a predator. 
Well done on the level. Your melee damage increases even further. And you've got some new meat to eat. Yay. Okay, well, let's get back. Get, let's get back to the Bronto and see how it's doing. Then we're going to go and try to, to get some metal. Since we need um, 40 metal for the Bronto saddle. Here we are back at the Bronto. And honestly, it's doing absolutely fine. Um, I've got enough berries to completely knock it out once more. And it's getting there, honestly. It's not too slow. We should have this in one episode. I was thinking perhaps you... I might ta I might um, stretch it out between two episodes because I don't, I don't like too much happening between it. I mean, you know, some YouTubers um, and I completely respect them for doing this, and it really is lovely to see it. Um, like to have like huge gaps of content where like and um, you know all the stuff's done off camera, then you can bask in the um, in what's happened. But I personally, I, I like to kind of share the experience. That's my kind of let's play. That's my style of let's play. And um, I'm sure lots of people like that. I'm sure lots of people hate that. It's really just very subjective. But yeah, so I was thinking perhaps I'd have to share it between two. So let's get. Okay, let's mount Lafrex Jr. since I can't grab him individually. Oh, why are you all stuck together? Huh? Well, that's a bugged out noise. Okay, there we go. We've got them all separated. So, Lathrex, Lilith, Grigorovich, you three lovely, vicious little raptors are following me because what we're going to be doing now is we're going to quickly go back over to the Bronto. I'm just having a look to see if there's any we've missed. Like, yeah. Yeah, we're going, we're going to go, go, go back over to the Bronto because what I need to do, really, and I kind of forgot about this, is I need to have them... I, I need to have some kind of animal in defense because otherwise a raptor could easily just jump down and start eating the darn thing. Not exactly what I want when I'm trying to tame it. So having these scattered around the small area means they'll aggro on anything that bites the Bronto. So that's fantastic. And honestly, raptors are still brutal as hell. I just don't use them anymore because I've got um, a saber for transport. I've got I've got, got Icarus here, which is freaking beastly. And look at that, a little white and supply drop has landed right in a bunch of respite. Nah, no, okay, let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's... I'll take the hide. I'll take the, the flint, everything else, and go away. I'll take the fiber as well. Okay. So I'm going to do so instead. So I'm going to go back to hunting, honestly, for a little bit with Icarus. Let's see how how, how many levels we can get him, and then I'll come back if something exciting happens, like I don't know, I fight a T Rex or um, or the Bronto gets a little bit closer to being tamed. Soon we'll have to get some more berries, but not too soon. Oh look, so and so it's a little bit of um, nostalgia. I remember this when we we tamed Rocky. Oh poor Rocky. Yeah, um, this is the little uh, little narcotic station we had when we were taming our first um, Carno. Actually, yeah, that wouldn't be Rocky, would it? Then it'd be the first Carno. R Rocky was the second because of all the oh my lord, so much insanity happened with the with the Brontos. Sorry, Carno seem to have I seem to have terrible luck with them. It really is just a matter of they just die. Things happen to them constantly. It's really really annoying. Also, Fiomias give ridiculous amounts of experience, so I'm going to kill you. The reason is, you get a lot of harvest out of them, even with the, even, if, even if you're using the dino to harvest. And each time you harvest, you get, I think, 0.2 for the animal experience, so... Yeah, still not as much as hunting a Spino or a Rex, but um, certainly a lot nonetheless. Oh, it's make sure actually low enough. Oh, Lord, we're in a tree. Ah! There we go. Lots of meat for the thing. So let's have a quick look-see then. So I actually went back to the Bronto again. It's about a third of the way there, so I'm sorry, it's about a third of the way. I may actually AFK soon. I do need to actually cook some food and stuff, so... oh, That was for the raptors. And this way I hunt around here, honestly, because... Ooh, there's a gold... Well, there's a gold supply drop. So what I'm going to do is we'll go to the gold supply drop now, then I'm going to go back, and I'm actually going to AFK until it's done, because, um... I've, I'm, I'll do a little bit more harvesting with berries, and honestly, you, you don't need to see this. This is honestly quite boring. I don't mind skipping an hour. Simple as that. It's going to be about an hour we're going to skip ahead. Uh, but it's not too much. Is that gold or is it white? I think it's gold. I hope it's gold. Just five more levels, and I can actually get the red supply drops. <laughs> what we need to do is loot this Bronto saddle. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that would be lovely. Actually, is there, is there any metal up here? We're quite high. We do need to do some metal farming as well soon. And actually, we, thankfully, I, I can actually do that and now have the um, Argent Avis as our um, flying mount rather than the Tyrannodon, because this thing can actually carry weight. And we have a Carno saddle. That's actually not too bad, honestly. We'll, I'll, I'll take that. Uh, we already have the blueprint, but we'll just... There we go. That's white, isn't it? Is that gold? That's gold we'll go towards it. If it's not, we'll leave it. I think it's white. It's so hard to tell when it's got the blue backdrop. Like... 
I could swear it's yellow, but I'll swear it's gold, and it's... So I'll swear it's yellow, but I'll swear it's white. I really can't tell. Okay, we'll do this. Then I'm going to go over that mountain and see if there's anything there. Uh, if there's any metal there. We're going to need at least 40 raw metal chunks, and that way we don't have to go all the way back, back to our base for the metal. Because, well, it'd be nice if we could get the saddle on this thing as soon as possible. Also, uh, I think it's white. Yeah. Okay, then, white supply drop. Since we're already freaking here, what have you got for us today? I wouldn't mind if you gave us some hide and some berries. Yeah, definitely white. Okay. And you have... Oh, spark powder. Oh, a bed. Oh, st oh, yes. I'll take all of that. Actually. That was actually great. Never judge, judge a supply drop by its colour, apparently. That's fantastic. Yes, I'll take all that and I'll put it all in um, Icarus here. That's actually real... Honestly, that's a lot of time-saving stuff. Particularly the um, spark powder in the bed. And I actually don't even, even have the recipe for standing torches yet, so that's actually... That was remarkably good. Okay, so that's there. So the Brontos, yeah, just down there. So we're going to go to the mountain here and see if there's any metal. Because I'm not actually been on this mountain before, so be right back. Ah, uh, sadly, there's nothing much on this hill other than raptors and stone. No metal here. Oh, very upsetting, in fact. Very upsetting indeed. So let's have a quick... Actually, that'd be an... Oh, this would be an awesome place to build. It'd be so easy to wall off. Use the stones as a natural bit of barricade. That's rather nice. Is there anything over here then? So yeah, I've, I, I, I have been up here before. I was mistaken, just I thought it was higher than it actually was. Hello there, Carno. I'll be eating you today. Apparently I also killed them. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even see the turtle there. Well, got a bit of keratin from the turtle. That's always good. So if you're wondering where, where I get all the um, keratin from in the hunting cabin, there we go, turtles, because that's, that, that's what I hunt. That's why, that's why I, I, I like the hunting cabin. It's on the beach, which is safe for a start, start, for start. There's very few predators that go there. The only ones I really ever see are raptors, and that's it. And secondly, there's a lot of um, Fiomia and turtles, both of which are great to hunt. As the turtles give um, keratin, and the Fiomia give loads and loads of meat. That, that, that's not the two things I'm after generally I'm hunting, so hurrah. And of course, both give some hide. Is there anything else? No? Okay, well, let's go to a to the hill over there, then. The regular hill. Ooh. Oh, oh, no, no, no. This is where the freaking Carno died. I went I went down the long way to be safe, and it still freaking bugged out, didn't it? Yeah, we're not going to stay here very long. Uh, any metal at all, though? No? Okay. Okay, so all I'll do is I'll go back to the Bronto, then we'll go to another mountain. Or oh, glorious ore. And, by the way, the Bronto is now on halfway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this metal... And then I'm going to get back to the Bronto, um, feed it the rest of the narcotics it has, sorry, the rest of the berries it has, because I, I, I did a little bit of harvesting. Oh, I'm going to come back, I don't know where from, so I'm just going to run to the Icarus. Oh. A Dilo attacking... I did not think the Dilo would attack an Argent, I this. But, I'm going to come back again. Really, is there another one? And that's why I prefer the Argent Avis the, to the Pteranodon. It doesn't run away when it's in combat. It actually just fights it even if it's not on follow. Which means you don't have to have it ridiculously flying around your head all the time. To ensure it doesn't, you know, just vanish. Okay, so I need at least 40 raw metal then. Like I say, I'll go back to the Bronto. I think I've got enough um, narco berries for it now. I've got another um, 100 left. And, um... I don't think I have enough regular berries though, so I'll do a little bit more harvesting with harvest, and I'll go AF I'll go AFK, get something to eat, and then um, be back, and hopefully, hopefully, it'll be tamed when I actually return. That would be fantastic. Mmm, yummy, yummy raw meat. I just don't cook it anymore. I get so much raw meat at the moment as, as a byproduct of farming hide. It's just... No, well, that's enough. Wait, no, I have 18, don't I? So actually, I need... 22, which means I need 44. I've got 45, yep. Yep, which means... Really, I just hurt myself by jumping. Was I, was I really that high up in the air? Does this really hurt? Uh, game. Okay, so let's get back, and I'll be right back, sir, and try most likely... Oh, yay! Well done, there, uh, Nicholas. You're becoming a beast. Yeah, I was doing a bit of hunting off-camera with him, as you can probably tell by the fact he's levelled up so quick. Oh, is that a Carno? Is it a Rex? That's a Carno. Yeah, it's far too small and attacking far too fast for it to be a Rex. There we go, I stole the kill, and oh wow, double kill. 
That was such easy experience. Already a huge chunk of XP to the next level. Well done, Icarus. But yeah, seriously, the more the more the more I use this for combat, the more I realise actually the Argentavises are absolutely beasts. And um, if I keep increasing the melee damage, this thing's going to be ridiculously powerful. I mean, let's face it. If if the Tyrannodon can be turned into a hunter, I'm fairly certain the um, Argentavis, which is really quite an aggressive bird, definitely. Oh, look at our first hut! Oh my god! Oh, Sir and Sir this is where we started. This is where we tamed Burden. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, I love going back and seeing what I've done in the past. Okay, so be right back, Sir and Sir Most likely with the Bronto actually fully tamed. And we are back, Sir and Sir And I'm eating and quite happy with myself, actually, because... Wait for it. Wait for it, Sir and Sir Wait for it. It's been, about an, it's, it's been about half an hour. I've got some food. And we have a Bronto. Sir and Sir I'm sorry, but I did actually miss it being timed, so I didn't have the awesome, you know, pop up with the um with the card and everything. So let's just do that. So if you want to read this, of course, feel free to simply pause the screen. There we go. The Brontosaurus, the largest of the herbivores on the island, and the ultimate in um, harvesting in terms of um, berries, at least. I'm not sure how good it is with trees. I know that the uh, mammoths are better with trees. Now, I was going to walk it all the way back to the base, but I forgot about this little um, piping system here we have, which isn't really much of a use anymore, which is, re which is a real shame, because, um, well, it is just a huge shame, because we don't use it. Originally it was to get water to that base, so, so you know, I wouldn't have to jump over the mountain all the darn time, but now I can fly, it really has become a bit of a non-issue. Anyway, let's land the Icarus, um, I think I'll, did I put the metal in you, or do I have the metal in my own inventory? Excellent metal in my own inventory. How much hide do you have? That's the question I've got. Only 15. Okay, so a little bit low on hide then. That's a problem. But still, okay. So what do we actually need? Put the hide in here. For the saddle. So saddle. And we want the Brontosaurus saddle. Uh, 40 metal. We've got that. Fiber. We don't have that. And hide. We don't have that on us. But I'm sure we have it somewhere. Okay, let's put any fiber we do have. So we're going to have to go and harvest some fibre, which kind of sucks, but that's not too much of an issue. I'm fairly certain I've got enough hide kind of scattered around. We also need some more wood to actually burn this, so yeah, so we are going to have to go back, go back to the harvest area. What do we have over here? Do we have anything of use? We actually don't. That's quite surprising, quite upsetting at the same time. Okay. Okay, so some wood here. So let's, let's put the wood over here just to start burning that. So we need fibre and we need hide. We've got the metal we have. Honestly, both of those things are very easy to get. We can simply hunt with the bird, hunt with the raptor, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, do I have, where else would I have hide? Eagle has no hide. I'm fairly certain I've already got all the stuff from Eagle. Let's have a quick look, see. Well, Igor, or Eagle, have you want to be... You, oh, you do have some. Do you have some? Thank you. That makes 83, then. We have an inventory to put in, so we're not too far off, then. Hide-wise. I'll have to make sure that I'm the one harvesting. Um, I don't let my animals harvest, because um, other than the Sabertooth, you are much better at harvesting than the animals you've got, in terms of hide. Icarus, do you have any hide on you? I mean, you've been killing animals left and right. Or was that the... Oh, you've got 100. Okay, let's put it back in. Oh, if I... Wait. Can I just put that 83 in? Oh, the hide was grabbed in and stacked it. Okay. So we're actually a lot closer than I thought we were. There's a good chance that we've actually got enough hide to do this soon. So, there we go. We've got 100. So we have over 200. We need 350. Yeah, we have. So we, we need less than 100 more hide. That's fine. I mean, I'm fairly certain that might be on the animals already. I have a good look see. But I could just um, kill some animals. Honestly, if, if I were to kill just a couple of um, trikes or something, I'm sure I could get the 100 hide. Plus, I'm going to have to go up here anyway to um, get the fiber, which I sadly don't have. So, oh, I hate I hate farming fiber. It's so boring. It's so boring, sir. It's threats. I just have to do it manually by hand. That's so blargle. Okay, yes. Yeah, so let's go for the trikes uh, above the other animals, just because they have more leather. So, more hide than the... Um, Fiomia. There we go, there's one trike dead. Let's get uh, let him kill the other, then I'll jump off and get the hide off them. Here we are. Another trike down. Oops, actually started harvesting it. Hitting a Fiomia here by accident, we match just after the trike. There we go. And then we jump off. And do some harvesting. Four hide, seven hide, twelve hide. Yeah, this won't take long at all. Almost twenty from one. And some more keratin. Okay. 
And then the fun never ceases when you're harvesting fibre. I'll be back in a second, so and so you really don't need to watch this. Okay, I think, I think that is enough, yep, that is enough hide. That was a stego that just, um, uh, donated the hide. I do feel sorry killing animals that I've already got as pets, but honestly at this stage I've pretty much got everything as a pet other than a spino and a few others. I can't really think of it, many more than the spino off the top of my head. I have uh, trikes, I have uh, scorpion, anything that's tameable I kind of already have. <laughs> Mostly, obviously, there are some things I'm missing. Like, like for instance, a Megalodon, since, you know, my one died because it bugged out so many freaking times. Okay, so, got some fibre, but I don't think I've got enough fibre. Let's just have a quick look. So, saddles, on, so I'm missing... Oh, I'm just missing the metal! Fantastic! Fan, I actually have enough fibre, I didn't think I did. That is wonderful news. So, all I need to do now is just make sure this keeps burning. So, be right back soon, so I'm literally going to just cut down some trees with my pickaxe, because my axe freaking broke. Thankfully, you can use thatch as a fire. And yes, I could just make one of the basic axes, but I'm just that lazy. Let's already have one. Uh, fine, how much for a basic axe? Oh cool, we got the stuff for it. I thought I was going to have to get flint or something and I was going to uh, whatever, I'll hit some trees. There we go. Uh, wood. So much slower than the metal version. Uh, how can I survive? Oh, all, all that prime meat rotting in my inventory. Let's just eat it. Let, let's, let, let's not let it go to waste, eh? There we are. Now, one question I do have is, am I going to bring the Bronto over to my main base, or am I going to keep it at the um, harvesting base? I think I'll keep it at the harvesting base, honestly. It certainly makes more sense, since that's the only thing I want to do with it. Plus, it's a lot safer around here. I mean, that's why I'm not... Another thing is, the actual journey is really horrible for any ground mounts, because it goes past like, three cliffs and a big river, which is which is why I lost Ghost and my Kano. I lost Rocky because of that. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Wait, be, uh, be right back once this is... But well, I, on a random side note, so interesting. Whenever I say be right back, I'm always in the back of my head. I'm hoping like future Lathrix, please actually skip here because because I'm now trying to record without stopping as much as possible because I keep on missing things and I'm just like please future Lathrix, when did I put mortar and pestle down here? Well, apparently I did. Please future Lathrix, don't forget you um, wanted to skip here. So be right back. Hey future Lathrix. Random side note. I actually had a I actually had a um a semi broken metal hatchet just here. I can't remember putting that in there. Probably in a previous episode. Can't remember doing it though. Anyway, yay! Hatchet's back. Well, Sir and Threats, I am officially a dum dum. Uh, I'm sure many of you pointed out that Lathrix, you you needed forty metal ingots, not forty raw. And then for some reason in my head I got confused and thought I needed twenty metal ingots. So I'm going to go and quickly get some more metal. Um, I probably won't show it, just, yeah. Insert angry mumblings here. It's lovely and dark, here's the thing, here's the metal. <sighs> here's some more wood I found. Okay, everyone is happy. Well, I managed to break my pickaxe, yay. However, finally, finally, sir and sir, we do have enough fire actually on the thing. And I did almost level up, to be fair. So, it wasn't too bad, I did get very close to leveling up, so... Oh, sadly you don't get much. You don't actually get that much experience from mining rocks, and I only need to mine like three rocks for that. But still, it still got me closer. So, be right back once this is actually smelted. Okay, it's still raining. It's now daytime. I have the metal. Does this mean I can finally? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can finally make the freaking sad. Oh, and the question is, do I give it glasses? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe. And that, of course, levelled us up because, well, it's a freaking bront. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Wow, how much experience did that give me? Well, more oxygen is always good. Um, is there anything I can make at level 56? Look at all this stuff I can make, my lord. Gates, behemoth gateway, I don't know what that even is. Oh, God, there's so much. Hollow scope? Oh, my lord. Rocket launcher? Assault rifle! <laughs> oh! Okay, well, in the future, so very soon, we really do need to make the fabricator and the electric generator, just so we can actually start doing this stuff properly. Okay, so let's go and put this freaking saddle on the freaking Bronto and cool it today, because this has took far too long. It's been almost two and a half hours now, so and so it's condensed into one video. I'm hoping it still is only about half an hour long, but we'll see how much stuff I'm actually choose to keep in on us. Am I still lugging around the Kano saddle? That's thought. 
Yep, I am still looking around the Kano saddle. That's genius. Well, I guess it's because I want to take it back with me. So, so why don't I put it on Icarus instead then? Just so I, just so when I'm off Icarus, I don't have the white issue. Hello, Bronto. How are you doing, sir? How? Oh, sorry, Surette. How are you doing? Guess what I have for you? That's right, a saddle. Boom. I'm Diny. Holy crap! Thirty Marco berries in one swing. Well, there we go, sir and Surette. We have something that's going to do a lot of work. Look at that. That's just oh the lag it causes. But look how many one swings is like. Yeah, I'll harvest the entire world. Yee. Oh yeah, it leveled. What do you level on a Bronto? Look how much white. It oh my god, King Carol's a thousand white. Um, stamina, I suppose. I don't know. I haven't really tested. I'll have to mess around with it for a bit and kind of figure out what I want. I mean, it can't really run very fast, and I imagine I'm going to want it to be running all the darn time. Oh, these are going to be in the way. I'm going to have to walk around this. Well, so and so, it's, I'm going to call it here anyway. There's my newest pet, the Brontosaurus. It only took two hours to actually get things sorted, and a bit of a miscalculation when it come when it came down to the metal, because I thought it needed 20 ingots at one point for some reason, because I got everything mixed up. Holy crap, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh my lord, it even gets the proper seeds and everything. Holy crap, that's so awesome. That is so awesome, it's ridiculous. So yeah, it's not very good at harvesting wood, but it's going to harvest the entire forest still. Can I actually just walk over this? It's not very high up here. Okay, great, I, I, I can walk over small things. I kind of stutter step as I walk, that's not the best I do. I guess, okay, I want to see how much white can we actually add, but a bit more health would be cool. Oh my lord, 200 plus health per level. Well, and we've almost leveled again, sir and threats. How much experience do I get out of this? Okay, 7.2. Smack. That wasn't actually too much, but let's have a look. Oh, okay, so it's only the Bronto that actually gets the experience for harvesting, but it's getting a load of experience. I mean, okay, 19.4. And harvest, not a huge one, but still. 20.3, yeah, it gets like a full experience point per harvest, and well, it doesn't seem to use up too much stamina per attack, and the attacks are so slow, it seems to actually regain as fast as it uses. It's just when I try and sprint, and by the way, this is actually sprinting. Yep, that is the full speed of the sprint. So, yeah. This is amazing. Oh, why can't, oh, I love you, Bronto. I remember people saying at one point, like, wouldn't it be awesome if you could build on the Bronto and stuff? I, I don't think you actually can, but I remember the devs saying you might be able to eventually. Unless you already can, in which case, I'm, I'm completely wrong. Anyway, so and threats, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Do take care. Until next time, goodbye. And remember, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and shows that Ark is a series you wish to see continued. I have a Brontosaurus. Thank you, and goodbye.